Uh, so Annie, getting into it, uh, you were part of an investigation, uh, a team here in the Sentinel, uh, that took a look at private schools in Florida uh, that accepted uh, Florida scholarships or school vouchers uh, and exhibited uh, anti-LGBTQ uh, policies. Uh, what, did, what did the investigation find? Well, that's correct. We reviewed, a colleague and I, Leslie Postal, reviewed the handbooks and admission policies of hundreds of private schools around the state that take uh, state scholarships, which are often known as vouchers. Um, and these are scholarships that go to students who are low income, have been bullied, or have disabilities. Um, in lieu of going to public school, they uh, get money um, from the state to attend a private school um, through one of these programs. And what we found is there are at least 156 schools statewide that have anti-LGBTQ policies. That means that they uh, won't admit or say they'll expel um, students who are gay or transgender, or um, the schools have a statement of beliefs that says we think uh, homosexuality is a sin. Um, and in some cases, the language is, is pretty strong. So I wanted to read a, a couple of those. Um, this is from Central Florida Christian Academy, which is in West Orange County. And uh, the church that um, oversees the school um, says that Christians must abstain from sexual immorality, um, which basically means gay children aren't, aren't welcome on their campus. Uh, Wade Christian School in Melbourne um, keeps a, an expulsion list, basically a, a list of offenses that will get you kicked out of that school. Um, and a homosexual act, in quotes, is among those offenses, um, along with bringing weapons to campus, distributing drugs, and striking a staff member. So they are uh, looking at being gay or being transgender as a disciplinary issue. Um, and, and so basically, we uh, went through all these handbooks statewide, and I want to make it very clear that um, private schools, even if they take state money, are not required to post their policies and handbooks online. So there may be more of these schools um, than we know of that won't admit um, gay students, but we were able to identify 156 that either won't admit gay students or say that they believe homosexuality is a sin or have some sort of belief that they espouse that is against gay students. I have a question about that, Annie. There, so the schools aren't, all these schools aren't required to post their so if you're a parent looking for a school for your child and uh, you don't see a handbook there, how do you know? Right, and you know I don't know if these schools that don't put their handbooks online provide them to parents during the admissions process or how exactly that happens. Um, but you know, for the public's purposes, if you want to find out whether a private school um, has anti-gay views, you may not be able to do that if they don't post their handbook online. Um, and another aspect of our investigation was looking into uh, the companies that fund Florida's largest voucher program, which is called the Florida Tax Credit Scholarship Program. Um, and basically this program is funded by um, companies that get dollar for dollar contributions, which means in lieu of sending their um, taxes that they're liable for to the state to become part of the general fund, they divert them and they become part of this um, scholarship program. Program. And we contacted hundreds of companies that contribute to this program. And I want to be very clear, this is a conscious choice that these companies are making to send their tax dollars to this program rather than the state general fund. And um, told them that we had, it took, basically told them about our findings, that we had found um, you know, more than 100 schools that have anti-gay policies and, and asked them you know, what their reaction was to that and whether they planned to halt contributions to the program. And we found only four that said that they plan to uh, stop contributing until that type of discrimination is prohibited in those programs, which I thought was really telling. Um, another interesting aspect of this is that a lot of these companies are, um, you know, publicly very gay friendly. They have policies saying, you know, we make employment discriminations regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, you know, they have diversity programs specifically designed to support gay and transgender employees. Um, and yet they're giving money to these programs. Um, you know, one of the programs, or excuse me, one of the companies we contacted, um, Fifth Third Bank, um, sent a very large group of employees to the uh, Orlando uh, Pride Parade this past October. And um, they had a large float, they had, um, you know, 
rainbow flags um, that their employees were holding and that were you know sort of draped over the float and yet they gave more than five million dollars to this program wow. um, in 2018 so it, there's kind of a I think what some people would say is uh, you know disparity between what the companies publicly say they support and you know their contributions to this program uh, were they one of the ones that said they would stop no um, they did send us a statement and and you know to be clear a lot of these companies didn't even you know didn't respond to our inquiries um, and, and their spokeswoman said that helping underprivileged children which you know the Florida tax credit scholarship is designed to help low-income children who, who want to attend a private school um, is important to their company um, she also said we are highly supportive of diversity inclusion and regularly review all of the programs we support for their consistency with those values but she didn't indicate that they planned to discontinue. Can I ask which company said they would stop? Yeah, um, one of them was Central Florida's own uh, Harrison, Harris Rosen's uh, company, Her Rosen Hotel and Resorts. Um, another was um, Axiom Bank, which is also based in Central Florida. Um, there was an insurance firm called Euler Erms, and um, Allegiant, the airline, also indicated that they were no longer but, going to But waste support. management. No. Geico, no. Right. Yeah, these big name companies that you would recognize, Wells Fargo, um, the large, the program's largest do donor, uh, Southern Glaciers, which a lot of people haven't heard of, but it's a beverage distributor. Um, they, you know, gave a hundred and... Uh, Hundred more than a hundred and five. Excuse me. They gave more than a six hundred million over the past decade to the program. Um, I'm sorry, and they didn't give any indication that they plan to discontinue their contributions. So, uh, we had a we've got a bunch of comments on this, and we also have a poll out right now uh, asking uh, should anti LGBT uh, Florida schools receive school vouchers? Eighty six percent of our audience says no. Um, a lot of our comments very reflective of that response as well. Roberta Bailey saying, uh, commenting on the amount of mm -hmm. schools uh, that you guys investigated, uh, saying, wow, that's a lot of schools. Samuel uh, Realista, sorry if I mispronounced that, Samuel, uh, says, uh, if schools receive money from government, they should accommodate. Uh, but if they're privately funded and autonomous from the government, then no. Uh, that school has the right to make their own rules for teachers. Uh, is, is I thought. agree with that. I actually agree with that point. If, if if they're privately funded, they can do whatever they want. But if they're using our tax dollars, mm -hmm. it should be accessible to everybody. Have oh. you heard any legislators' reaction to this? Yes. Um, I'm glad that you brought up that point because there's been uh, legislation filed in both the House and the Senate um, this year that would address this issue and ban schools that discriminate against gay or transgender students from receiving uh, state-backed scholarships. However, it's unclear um, whether that legislation is going to gain any traction. Um, it, 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 Who are the sponsors? Uh, Anna Eskamani is the sponsor in the House, and um, uh, Senator Roussan is the sponsor in the Florida This Senate. is great work, Andy. You and Leslie Postal kick butt on this, really. I mean, this is it's the only place I've ever seen it reported, right yeah, here. Yeah, the, the amount of detail that you guys have been able to uncover is, is really, really eye-opening. Um, have you heard from ahead. any um, gay politicians? Um, no, although the story just posted this morning, so it's possible that we will um, get some feedback from, from other legislators about, yeah, about this issue. Yeah, I just wonder what Patty Sheehan has to say, you know, so. You know, you wonder about this, and you think about the civil rights movement back in the '60s, right? And it, it, back then, they, they, folks, uh, critics of uh, uh, opponents of equal rights for for blacks uh, would equate, you know, interracial dating to, to homosexuality and to bestiality. And this, I think, there are instances where they equate homosexuality to bestiality again, right? Right, they define sexual immorality to include off offenses, you know, things that they discern, discern as offenses. To Along with violence. Along and, with violence, yeah. yeah. And things like bestiality and incest, that kind of thing, so. Um, and I, I do wanna be clear because I said that it's unclear whether the legislation um, will gain any traction this year um, that, uh, Senator Galvano has indicated to us that um, 
you know, he would like to see some changes made on this issue so that, you know, for folks that think that this is unacceptable, that gives some hope that there will be some changes made.